right here and then and it has a lot of fat on it which I took off the, the, the pericardial fluid was in here the serous fluid was in here this is a, a cow heart and then this is the apex down here in the base up here where the auricles are right above the auricles is the base this is the pulmonary trunk, okay. and I cut it open along the length so we can see the pulmonary and some other valves. So I'm going to show you the valve. The, the cusps are right, are right, you're just looking at the cusps right below my fingers. Mm -hmm. So that's the pulmonary semilunar valve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pulmonary semilunar valve with three cusps. And then the aorta is behind the pulmonary trunk, so that's the aorta. And if I stick this probe in, see how the, the probe comes out into the left ventricle? So that proves that this is all left ventricle. I took this left auricle and I opened it up from the back. And you can see the pectinate muscle. This is a big one right here. Pectinate muscle. And then, if you open this, so here's the pulmonary trunk going to the right ventricle. So right ventricle, left ventricle. Left left auricle, right auricle. If you open it up, you can see the interventricular septum. Look at that left ventricle myocardium. Look how the, look at the thin right ventricle myocardium. Here's the bicuspid valve with the two cusps, with the choroidal tendineae, and their papillary muscle. Like this is a giant papillary muscle because the choroidal tendineae are going to it. Then on the right side, here's the tricuspid valve. The, anything like this that the cords are attaching to, that's the tricuspid valve with the chordae tendineae. See? So and then the right part is, the, uh, is the cord, the chordae tendineae. And then papillary muscle is whatever these are going to. Now the trabeculae carniae, look at the ridge-like bar-like. That's, that's trabeculae carniae. I'm doing it for you guys later. Trabeculae carniae is all this. And see over here, See, trabeculae carniae are all the ridges here and here. See? And then this is the aortic semilunar valve. See, there's one cusp. See, two. See, the, the, if I put my probe in the aorta, see, in here, I'm going to come out right here in the center. Mm -hmm. The aortic semilunar valve is right, right surrounding that probe. Mm -hmm. So aortic semilunar valve, see, is right to the right of this bicuspid valve. And uh, I think that's everything. Epicardium, see the shiny, myocardium, endocardium, the shiny inside. Yeah. Oh, well, the last thing I can do is uh, superior vena cava. So I'm, I've got to find a tube. There it is. This right here is superior vena cava, and if I enter it, see I'm in the see I'm in the right auricle, right atrium, and if I keep pushing my finger through, I can come out. Here's the interior vena cava right here. See, interior vena cava. It's a great place to see the veins are very thin walled compared to the aorta, very thick walled. Beautiful. That's it. That's your beef heart.